after restoring my 1967 model Honda 305 Scrambler, I began having problems with the battery not staying charged up. And if I left it sit a day or two, the battery would completely go dead. So I figured out pretty quick that the rectifier was bad and I needed to replace it. I found an article on the Honda 305 forum that showed how to replace uh, the old rectifier with a Radio Shack bridge rectifier, a diode type bridge rectifier. And I thought that would be the thing for me to do. We're going to start by taking the original selenium rectifier off the bike and take it apart. And what we'll try to do is uh, just undo the pile here. And we're going to put the original or the replacement in between the first two plates or it'll look original. You won't be able to tell we've done this. I have to use a smaller bolt, that's obvious. But once we get it together, I want this to sit between these and use one of these plates as a heat sink. I think it should be plenty. And from the outside, you'll never tell it's been replaced by a modern diode. I'll take some carburetor cleaner and uh, soak the paint off of the fin that I want to use for a heat sink. I don't want anything to keep the heat from going to the plate. It'll take a little while to get that heavy duty paint off of there. And then we have a nice clean disc to made our uh, bridge up with and provide a good heat sink part. When we put it all a cover back on the other side, and then when we get through, we'll paint the whole thing Chevrolet orange again. And from the outside of the bike, you'll never tell it's been replaced. The next thing I want to do is bend these prongs where they'll face the outside of our assembly when we get finished. That way the wires will be routed easier. This is a little delicate. I don't want to mess up the rectifier, so I'm going to clamp off close as I can before I try to bend them over. But they're not too tough. It shouldn't be that big of a deal. That looks good. Go to the next one. Clamp her down. Ever so gently get it started bending over. Use my hand, work my way on around. This is working pretty easy, easier than I thought it would. Sometimes they don't bend so easy. Get it started as close to the bottom as I can. There we go. One more. Huh? Okay. Oh, 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 careful. My clamp's turned loose. Okay. Now all our terminals are facing the outside of our assembly. Okay, what I've done, cleaned all the paint off of these fins. I took three of them and put them together. That gives me a pretty good heat sink for our new rectifier. I took a, a 10-24 all thread, cut it the same length as our old all thread, put a nut on the outside, and then tightened down the new rectifier to those three plates. You need to put some uh, silicone, not silicone jelly between there to make sure it has keeps a good contact to dissipate the heat. Then I spaced it out with nuts to get it the same width as our old rectifier and tighten down the other side. Then with our, our terminals facing outward now, I can run my positive wire, 12 volt positive wire to the battery 
There's one AC wire which will go to the brown lead, the other AC wire to the yellow lead, and then the final lead to ground. And I'll ground it two places to the chassis and I'll run a wire direct to the uh, uh, stator and to make sure I get a good ground. Okay, I put the old terminals off of our lead in wires. Now I'll punch this new clip on terminals on right here. Hook to our new rectifier. And we'll do the same thing with the other, with our other AC lead. So we're about through here. A little Chevrolet orange paint makes it the same color as the original. And we'll take a black paint pen, line the edges, and it'll look just like an original. Okay, now next step is to hook all the wires up. You can see I got the positive marked. The negative is already grounded with a piece of um, fuse link wire, just a little extra protection. All we have to do is hook up our positive to the battery, and our two AC leads, and put it back on the, on the bike. And we'll see what our voltage values are then. So before, I was only getting about, oh, 10, I mean, excuse me, 11, maybe, Thank you. 